Welcome to Crowd Free RV. My name is Ben, and I'd like to welcome you to our two minute tip series where we share valuable tips and hacks for newbie RVers. In this video, we'll share some important tips and tricks that we've learned for RV sewer hoses. Now, the format of the two minute series is quick and valuable. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and throw two minutes on the clock because that's my goal to get through these tips in that amount of time. So two minutes on the clock, starting now, boom, let's go. So wherever we're staying places with hookups, this is the setup that I use about 80% of the time. This is the uh, Camco Rhinoflex 15 foot kit and also the Camco Sidewinder, what I call the stinky slinky, the thing that holds your hose up. Wanted to show you the P-trap that I always use. Now this is gonna work just like the P-trap in your sink. After you've dumped for the first time, it's gonna retain liquid in there, and then that liquid acts as a vapor barrier coming up from the, uh, the sewer system at the RV park. So we found that we kind of struggled with uh, the interior fan inside the RV pulling in smells until we started to utilize this P-trap. The fluid still fl flows fine past that, but yeah, that P-trap is a good stop for all the vapors. So the bungee that we use on the end of our slinky is to keep that end of the slinky from scooting whenever we dump. We typically keep our valves shut at all times unless we're dumping. And again, that's just to prevent smells. We found that that's the most effective strategy to prevent any sewer smells from getting inside the RV, which we hate. So that setup works well about 80% of the time, but I carry two extra hoses for the other 20% of the time and that's mainly due to just, there's some weird sights out there. We are underneath the front of my Rockwood Geo Pro. This is the sewer hose carrier that came from the factory. It's a DNW sewer hose carrier. My other two hose carriers here and here, by the way, my fresh water tank is right up under here. Otherwise I would have put that other hose carrier here. Um, I did use these little clips I found these little clips at uh, Home Depot and that, keep, that keeps the lids locked on there so that none of them are lost during travel. So that's how I carry all three of my hoses without taking a whole bunch of space up in my pass-through. All the sewer hose related stuff rides in those two storage tubes underneath the birdhouse except for this stuff here. Stinky Slinky, and we've got a couple of little tubs that usually ride right up around here somewhere. Okay, this is my uh, flush hose with the 90 degree fitting for where it connects to the back of the birdhouse. And in here, I carry a sewer adapter wrench thingamadoodle, comes in handy. And these are my gloves, and I just started buying these. I really like them. Compostable food prep gloves. They're half the cost of normal gloves, and look how compact they, they store and ride around. That's what rides in the truck. I wanted to show you this before we move. So here's the, uh, the sewer connection. It's almost at the very front of the site. And so I had two options. And that was option number one, put the travel trailer where I want it in the site and use all three links of hose to get all the way to the front of the site. And that would give me room for the pickup truck. Or the other alternative was to use one or two links of hose, but then the, then the trailer is gonna have to be way more forward in the site and I would have to park the truck somewhere else. So anyway, that's a quick tip on why I like to carry three links of RV hose. Basically, that this gives me the option to put the trailer anywhere that I want to put it uh, on any site that I've ever run into. Two seconds to spare! Woo! Woo <laughs> A yawn? Seriously? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed these quick tips and found them helpful. If you like this, quick tip video format, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and also subscribing so you can check out more videos here in the future.
I'll also go into a little bit more depth on the subject of RV sewer hoses at the CFRV University article. If you'd like to check that out, you can find it at crowdfreerv.com forward slash RV dash sewer dash hose dash tips. Well, that's a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, my friends, don't let the masses crowd you out of your RVing dreams. See you soon. Thank you.